Before you begin your project, one thing that's important to do is to check which microphone you're using and the recording levels associated with that microphone. To check your microphone, come down to the lower left-hand side and click on the Windows button. In the Windows area, begin typing sound. The option that you want to choose to adjust your microphone levels is this third one that has a speaker that says sound. Click on it. In the new window that comes up, you'll have a number of options with connected devices. You might only see two. I've got three because I have a number of headphones. But you want to make sure that there's a check mark next to the playback device that you want to listen to it on. Right now, I've set up for my external speakers on my laptop, which is okay. And I see a green check mark. If you want to change the default so that you know you're using that particular set of speakers, click on the item that you want to change and then come down and click set default. A little green check mark will appear. That's a phone. Right now my default is my external speakers and I want that. To check your microphone, come up to the second tab and click on recording. You'll see relevant microphones. You can see which one is really working by the bouncing level meter right here. This is the microphone I'm using. There's a check mark, meaning it's the default. But you might want to adjust the sensitivity of your microphone. To do that, select the microphone that you want. And then, once it's blue, click Properties. In the new window, look at the very top. You have three or four different tabs. The third one over, Levels, will let you adjust the microphone sensitivity. This will only work if you have something plugged in and the computer recognizes the microphone. I would bump it up to 75 to 85 in terms of sensitivity. Too high and the sound will crackle and pop. Too low down here you won't be able to hear anything. So 75 to 85 is good. When you're finished, click OK. Click OK one more time.